Hi everyone, this is Jack from Visual Paradigm. Today I'm going to show you how to manage the assignments of works within a just-in-time PMBOK process. Before we start, let's have an overview of what the just-in-time PMBOK process is first. This is the screen of the just-in-time PMBOK process. It consists of five columns of process groups, from initiating to planning, executing, monitoring and controlling, and closing, and 10 rows of knowledge areas, which include integration, scope, time, cost, quality, procurement, human resources, communications, risk management, and stakeholder management. Throughout the process, there are some green boxes known as work items. A work item is a specific piece of work to perform. In most cases, it involves form filling, like this one, the project charter. As you can see, here is a form. You have to enter the business need and objectives, like this. So all these are the works required to be performed under the PMBOK process. But the point is, how do I ask someone to perform these works? In Visual Paradigm, there is a task management tool called Taskfire. You can create tasks in Taskfire to ask your teammates to perform the works. But consider that there are so many works, so many activities required, it will take you a lot of time to create the tasks manually one by one. What I want to show you in this video is a shortcut to create and assign tasks. What I have to do is to right click on the work item and select Edit RACI. There are five types of responsibility of each work items. They are responsible, accountable, approval, consulted, informed. What I have to do is to select the member for each of these responsibilities. The members listed here are the project members. Project members means the members being assigned to this project. Let's say Eva is responsible for filling in the project charter. I select Eva here. If Michael is accountable for this work item, select Michael, and so forth. Confirm. You can see the logo of the responsible member at the bottom right of the work item. When I move the mouse pointer over the logo, the logo of other members are presented. So I've finished assigning RACI on a single work item. In order to manage task assignment for the other work items, you have to edit the RACI for other work items as well. But to save time, instead of doing this work item by work item, you can edit RACI for all the work items in the process cell. Or for all work items in a row. Or all work items in a column. Let's edit RACI for work items under the monitoring and controlling column. I've just finished editing the RACI for all work items. The next step is to synchronize the RACI assignment to Taskfire. OK. This is Taskfire, the task management interface. It's presenting the Gantt chart of the project. Each row in the Gantt chart corresponds to a work item in the just-in-time process. You see this one, the project charter? Adjust the planned start and end dates of the tasks by dragging the bars. Besides the game chart view, we have the task list view. Here are the tasks. Click on the task to open it. So this is Eva's screen, Eva's task list. As you can see, the project charter task, along with the other two tasks, are listed in the task list. Eva checks the task, work on it, and complete it. When the task is completed, it's assigned to the person who was set to be accountable. In this case, it's Michael. So Michael will see the task in his task list. 
he will pick up the task and work on it. This is how the task assignment feature works. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.